What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the reasons we don't have a hireling for uh, either jewelry crafting or alchemy really. That's one thing that I have seen kind of discussed lately uh, on the forums is people talking about a jewelry crafting hireling. I know we haven't had one for alchemy for years and years and alchemy has been you know something you can do for a long time. It's not like it's a new thing brought to crafting. But I do find it interesting that neither one of these actually have the hireling option. Now I know a lot of people may not use the hireling or may not want to fill their mailbox up. If you're a guild owner and you own a big trading guild or something like that, you get a lot of mail. I understand that having a, a hireling on each character does fill your mailbox up quickly. But at the same time, alchemy, I can understand maybe why there's not one. But jewelry crafting, I really don't get it. Because as we all know, getting purple grains, gold grains to be able to make your plates is not an easy thing. And of course, gold and purple uh, plates themselves Purple kind of fluctuate in price, but gold is always fairly expensive. And of course, you have to have several to make a piece of jewelry gold. So I think it would be really nice if they would add in the option to have a hireling for jewelry crafting. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people talking about this as of late on the forums. And I kind of understand why the question is being brought up of why we don't have one. If you kind of think about it, it would be a little bit easier. I mean, it's not going to be anything that's going to make it just, you know, ridiculous where you're just getting tons of gold and purple material but if you look at you know, your clothing or your woodworker or your blacksmith for example uh, if you have a hireling for those sometimes you will get gold mats so it would be nice in my opinion to randomly you know maybe once every once in a while to get a gold plate or a purple plate it probably would help with the price overall of them because there would be more of an abundance so they would not they wouldn't have to be as rare so they wouldn't have to be as high priced when they're sold but at the same time, it would give people a lot better option to be able to upgrade these things and not feel like if you're a new player, you're going broke because you're going to spend hundreds of thousands to millions of gold trying to rank up jewelry kind of in the end. Plus for master writs, if you get a big master writ or a, you know, it's in purple or in gold, sometimes you're going to go out and do those. But a lot of people just kind of discard the purple master uh, crafting writs for jewelry because it is really it, the cost compared to what you get back for what you're paying for these plates is really just not worth doing the master writ overall. So guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on so you know everything goes live here on the channel. Of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the 5% discount code you can use at checkout, is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.